Hello everyone, I'm back in this new video. My name is Roman, and some pretty new stuff to talk about today. The big one is of course Darth Vader in Rogue One. Now, I saw the film yesterday, very amazing. It, it was absolutely amazing. Um, some part, although I was disappointed by Darth Vader, only appearing in like about two scenes, but you know, I think it is, it's more his moment to shine in the last scene with the Rebels, but um, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I can kind of see how they've tried to connect it with A New Hope with Rogue One. Um, I'm quite like that because, we, oh, I mean, we do know that. That Vader was kind of amazing in his back in his old days, but you know, with these all of these new late Star Wars movies, which are owned by the company of D Disney, they're gonna have new things. Uh, I'm not really impressed with the new new. Well, I'm sorry for people who like Spencer Wilding's version of. Darth Vader. Um, I just thought, or I, I thought the hand movement. I know, I know all of the things he does with his hands in the Rebel scene at the end. I know it's supposed to represent him like his Force powers, but isn't that strange doing all this business? But oh well, I, I guess it's kind of cool that Vader isn't just like. Um, kind of just one of those people who just stand there like a garden gnome, but, uh, the performance is watchable. What you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away! That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video about Darth Vader and Rogue One. Until next time, so long.